hey there how are you doing this is kali from tech fans here so this is after a long time it's almost a few weeks so i have been using this uh, evaluation x on my redmi note 11 so in this quick video we will uh, quickly see the uh, features security wise boot animation and what is the battery backup and all those stuffs we will uh, discuss uh, uh, quickly in this video and you will get an idea whether you can go ahead and install the android 13 of this evaluation x so let's get started So first we'll start with the build details. So this is the uh, Evaluation X 7.1 EV uh, currently running on the latest and greatest Android 13 and with the security patch of 5th September 2022 built by Doi Hong. So this is the official build and I'm currently waiting for the uh, OTA update as I have as we have discussed this in our uh, previous video. Here we have the OTA update. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it download and install in the back end. So once it is uh, downloaded and installed, uh, we will uh, see whether the update is working or not. So there are, uh, here I am unable to find any change log or something. So let it uh, download and uh, do its thing. So second thing, uh, we will start with the boot animation. So this is the boot animation of Evaluation X that is uh, rolling in neon uh, design. It's a minimal one, good one. We already have seen this in the previous 8.1 build. So yeah, that is nothing much have changed here. Now we'll talk about the features. The one of the good thing about the Evaluation X is its features. So we has here also we have all the uh, uh, features under the Evolver. To be honest, I actually like the features that uh, Evaluation X provides, like a network multi indicator, game space, and the Evolver uh, space to make a change in themes, uh, customizations, animations, uh, status bar, and gestures, lock screen, all the things uh, uh, it, it provides. I actually like it. I most of the time I use uh, pretty much most of the things. So, in terms of features, they didn't uh, remove anything actually it is same which you get in android tools same features they have added it in here along with the android 13 smooth animation and other stuff so feature wise it has all the features that you may require also uh, to mention it uh, this one also supports the carrier aggregation so i have uh, tested these things with the uh, netmonster so it it did uh, uh, connects with the different bands and provides the good speed uh, that you require i tried it in uh, geo but not sure about the airtel i believe it should work in airtel as well so now we'll talk about the audio quality audio quality wise it is good as earlier uh, android 11 12 uh, custom roams i didn't see much different uh, doesn't have any issues in terms of audio it is actually great i have connected my wireless phone wireless headphone and switch between things and uh, as uh, listening the audio and uh, music and uh, whatever say, audio books all the things are really really good so let's talk about the battery backup so battery backup wise i am getting solid seven to nine hours of uh, screen on time one entire day it will goes without any issues and here i have the um, uh, records of this you can uh, go through uh, pass the video and go through so um, battery backup is it didn't lose anything uh, from comparing to the old uh, android 12 custom rooms 11 it is same as the old uh, and custom rooms there isn't much difference or else there isn't much uh, 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 losses in terms of the battery also charging wise uh, same as i said uh, it will take like uh, 115 to uh, one and a half hours to charge the battery fully so that's what about the battery backup of uh, this one eight hours i can go ahead and the entire day it will last really really great so now i uh, will talk about the performance so performance wise i just had uh, run uh, geekbench and uh, uh, stress test uh, cpu throttling test so geekbench is surprisingly it gave uh, really good ratings uh, points so as you can see here uh, uh, single core is 1384 uh, sorry single core is 384 and multi core is 1708 and in gpu side it is open gl is uh, 437 which is uh, nearly some um, how would i say um, 
some 20 points higher than our old uh, dart OS. So with that we got like 362, uh, 1231 and uh, 435. Here 1708 in multi-core compared to 1231 in the dart OS, it's really really huge jump like 30 percentage. <laughs> How I got that I don't know. But performance wise the ranking is showing really really great. Uh, but there are few things that I have to mention uh, in the problem sector of this video. So stay tuned. As I mentioned, it is a pure Android 13 along with the customization. As I mentioned, we have all the features like network marketer indicator, game space, you can enable the FPS, evolver, and then you have a career aggregation and other things. And uh, good part is we also, we already have uh, seen that uh, in the installation video, this uh, new uh, music control, uh, which I like the most, I would say here you have the, you can change the audio and you hear that uh, ring like design it will come, which is great. And then uh, th there are subtle, subtle animations, which I like the most in here. It's got more smooth now. And yeah, I pretty much like most of the things. 90% it is same as the Android 12.0 or something. But still, uh, there are some add-ons. I will definitely welcome it. Uh, no need to um, stop that uh, making it. So now we will talk about the security of this one. So security-wise, it is uh, fully encrypted and the safety net has, uh, safety net uh, passes by default. I already have uh, run it, but here I don't know why I don't have it. I already have run it, safety net works fine. I have installed banking apps like HDFC, Paytm, Google Pay. All are working fine without any issues. And I even tried my corporate apps, which just runs fine with this one. But uh, it doesn't have the phase unlock, which is some sort of uh, drawback, but I don't use much, so yeah. Now uh, we'll talk about the problems of this row. So what problems it had? Well, it doesn't have much problem, much serious problem. Uh, before going to conclusion, I will tell here, you can go ahead and install this one and you can use it. It is an official one. Even if it has any issues, you will get a, a OTA update and you can uh, start doing it. So the biggest problem that I have seen is, um, I as I purchased a new phone, I have only one, two SIMs. So I am using some other SIM in some device. I am using Geo in here, which I have recharged for internet. So when I turn on the hotspot and I use this one, after some few minutes, uh, I would say 10 minutes or something, uh, device just uh, restarting. Uh, so I have seen it few times, not every time, few times it just restarted. And we were talking about the performance. Uh, it has a good number, maybe, uh, it is trying to uh, over throttle uh, something and it is just uh, restarting the device. I'm not sure, but it has some issues of restarting it. Whenever I take a photo or something and I just share it with one cropping, doing little stuff in terms of with multiple applications, suddenly it will crash and it will uh, just uh, reboot the device or else it will just crash for some few minutes and then it will automatically work. So like that crashes are happening here and there, just uh, two days once I will see, sometimes in a single day I will see multiple times. So that is one of the drawback of this one, I think. Maybe um, I am just uh, uh, installing a lot of apps or something, I don't know, but it's uh, it has some uh, glitches here and there and uh, rebooting kind of issues. So that's what the major issue of this one. Rest, all things are fine. Fingerprint works fine. And we have a camera to API is enabled by default. You can use Google camera and all the stuffs which we have discussed in previous 12.0 videos, 11 videos, 12 videos, all the things are present here and it is really good to install it. So I already installed it and uh, uh, we, the installation video, you can watch it here. When we were installing it, we, it also installed the recovery. So it should, it should uh, reboot to, uh, it should automatically uh, install it uh, from here. So once it is uh, installed, once it is downloaded successfully, uh, we will try to uh, install it. Yeah. Okay, so we now have uh, downloaded this uh, OTA, so I will just select it 
and here we have the option so it is giving some uh, advisory notice so i will just select install uh, you are upgraded to you are about to upgrade this one if you are press ok it will read it ok and here we have the change log so uh, you can pass and read it uh, so it's a big <laughs> change log so uh, ok it is preparing for the boot so that's good thing uh, so once it is prepared we will uh, start the video back again it is finalizing the package install so i'm actually uh, um, not that uh, sure about the uh, ota updates in the custom roms earlier but this different uh, steps of uh, installation is uh, giving me some sort of uh, confident that this uh, these updates won't crash or something i believe it will install it in uh, the opposite partition opposite slot if you are currently in a it will install in b so next reboot it will boot from b partition if the new one is not booting i believe we can just revert again to a slot and uh, use the old update so that's how it works it should work so yeah so now we got into the installation uh, part so just click okay i don't know it is just force stopping it so i will just reboot the device and i will try to install it maybe one time only it will work or not i don't know so we will try it if it is not working i will manually download the new update from the telegram and i will update it okay so finally it is booted uh, it is showing finishing the system update maybe it is already updated uh, not sure um, we'll just uh, go to settings and check yeah it is now has been updated to uh, october 1 it somehow got updated maybe uh, that is why it is, was failing it uh, earlier in the first time itself it got installed but we didn't know that it has got installed so once you first time you do it you just restart the device it will apply the new um, system so that's what about this video i thought of uh, um, putting this review after getting the ota we finally got the ota this ota also seems to be working fine so yeah this is good to have uh, uh, have it in as a stable one so yeah, thanks for watching, Kormato.